JFT, just fair and direct. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to JFD's daily market review for April the 13th. I am Harald Ambos Pissuros, senior market analyst here at JFT, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded mixed against the other G10 currencies on Monday during the Asian session Tuesday. It gained versus SEC, NZD, JPY and CAT in that order, while it underperformed against the GBP, CHF and NOC. The greenback was found virtually unchanged versus AUD and the Euro. The weakening of the Kiwi combined with the strengthening of the Swiss franc suggests that markets may have traded in a risk-off fashion yesterday and today in Asia. Indeed, major EU and US indices finished their trading in the red, with the only exceptions being Italy's FTSE MIB and the S&P 500. The former gained 0.11% while the latter closed virtually unchanged. Investors' appetite improved during the Asian session today. Although China Shanghai Composite slid 0.61%, Japan's Nikkei 225 and Hong Kong's Hang Seng gained 0.77% and 0.46% uh, respectively. EU and US shares may have slid somewhat as investors remained relatively cautious ahead of the quarterly corporate earnings season, with major uh, banks like uh, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan and Wells Fargo reporting their uh, results on, uh, on Wednesday. Market participants may have also stayed careful ahead of the US inflation data due out to be released uh, later today. The headline CPI rate is expected to jump to 2.5% year over year from 1.7%, while the core one is anticipated to have risen to 1.6% from 1.3%. This is likely to prove positive for the US dollar, but we don't expect any recovery to last for long. After all, the Fed has clearly noted that any surge in inflation this year is likely to prove to be temporary, and that inflation will rise and stay above 2% for some time, which is the goal for the beginning of uh, the, for the beginning to normalize uh, policy in the years after 2023. Let's not forget that uh, Fed Chief Powell himself has been repeatedly stating that it is too early to start discussing policy normalization. With all that in mind, we would expect the US dollar to pull back again soon and the equities to continue trending north. Now, as for tonight, during the Asian session Wednesday, the RBNZ decides on monetary policy. At its previous meeting in February, this bank decided to keep its official cash rate and its large-scale asset purchase program unchanged, noting that they agreed to stay prepared to provide additional support if necessary, with the options including a lower official cash rate. The Kiwi slid initially, perhaps as the statement may have uh, revived speculation over negative interest rates by this bank, but it was quick to rebound, recover the losses and trade even higher, perhaps as, in as investors uh, started scanning the quarterly monetary policy report in which the economic forecasts showed, that, uh, the, official showed the official cash rate turning higher from December. However, since uh, the previous meeting, uh, data showed that New Zealand's uh, economy contracted in the last quarter of 2020, while the government decided to take uh, measures in order to cool its hot housing market, including higher taxes. Those developments suggest that the RBNZ may push back the timing, uh, the, the timing of when it expects uh, to start uh, raising rates. 
Policymakers are expected to keep their monetary policy settings unchanged to us once again, and thus all the attention may be on whether they will sound more dovish this time around. In other words, it would be interesting to see whether they will keep the door for a rate cut open and whether they will hint that interest rates are likely to stay low for longer than previously assumed. If so, the New Zealand dollar is likely to come under selling interest. That said, we don't expect this to result in a major downtrend as the risk-linked currency may be helped by a potential further improvement in the broader market sentiment. Now, as for the rest of uh, today's events, during the early European morning, we already got the UK GDP for February, as well as the nation's industrial and manufacturing production rates for the month. GDP rebounded 0.4% month over month, following an upwardly revised tumble of 2.2% in January, while both industrial and manufacturing production rates rose by more, uh, by more than anticipated. The pound rose on uh, Monday due to the easing of some COVID-related restrictions in the UK and it may continue recovering following the aforementioned data. However, fears that uh, safety concerns with regards to the AstraZeneca drug may slow down the vaccine rollout in the UK could keep a lead on any short-term uh, sterling gains as other countries catch up. Later in the day in Germany's ZW survey for April is due to be released. The current conditions index is expected to have risen to minus 52 from minus 61, while the economic sentiment one is forecast to have inched up to 79.5 from 76.6. We also have four, four Fed speakers on today's agenda, and those are uh, San Francisco President Mary Daly, Kansas City President Esther George, Philadelphia President Patrick Harker, and Atlanta President Rafael Bostic. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT just fair and direct.